Hello everyone, I'm Hudy from State65. This video was sponsored by Big Blue Balls Alliance from State65, so huge shout out to them. Today we are going to talk about Alliance Wars as the biggest source of seasonal points. So let's start with the very basics. Alliance Wars are three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. On Tuesday and Thursday are, let's call them, safe wars means your city cannot be attacked by anyone from different states, as for Sunday it's quite the opposite. During Sunday it's crucial for everyone to use shields. You can take plots, even the enemy plots, if you're under the shield. There is one situation though. If your enemies block your path with gathering tile and send troops on it, and there is no way to get around it, one member of your alliance has to drop the shield and attack the gathering plot. Once he drops his shield, he will most likely be attacked, so everything has to be super quick. Drop shield by teleporting to sand next to launch center. That way the cooldown timer won't appear. Teleport in, kill the gathering APC and shield again. And then continue building your path. Also, buffs from items for 20% mind and resistance work, as well as presidential titles. In addition, while fighting over DD tiles or honor buildings, the buffs from Assault and Guardian Fortresses work as well. That said, you can get your APC a buff up to 420% might and resistance, which is kinda huge. So back to the subject of making path. The war is 4.5 hour long, half an hour preparation, where you check a position of your enemy centers and figure out the best strategy to attack, and then 4 hours or less if you destroy all enemy line centers of combined attacks and defense. So how to attack? Every alliance has a leadership, one or more people discussing strategy. They choose a starting point, a place on a map where the rally point will be placed. Once the rally point is placed, it's up to members to create a path towards AC1 or AC2. Depends on strategy. So, how to make path? This is the part where most of the time people mess up and waste too much durability. So keep attention. When occupying enemy plots that don't belong to anyone, use full APC of vehicles. They are the fastest and you minimize the risk that your path will be stopped by the enemy. When you get to a point where you have to go through enemy tiles, there are two possibilities, either send warrior or shooter APC because they can take out the tile with one hit, or send two APCs filled only with vehicles for a fast hit. This option is not very used because it drains durability crazy fast, but sometimes it's needed. Also, the most important thing, always there is only one player of an alliance taking tiles and progressing with the path. If two or more players attack the same tile, your alliance will lose crazy amount of durability. So it's wise to set amount of tiles a player takes, for example 5. A player takes 5 closest tiles to him, then other one continues where the previous player stopped. Attacking one tile with multiple players cannot be happening. Unless it's reinforced of course. Once you make your way to honor buildings, attack them with your fighters or shooters. I prefer shooters because it's mostly reinforced by vehicles and shooters have like similar destruction power to fighters and have advantage over vehicles. When you finally reach a line center, you have two choices, either rally that will save plenty of durability of all players or attacks. The best variation is both of them combined. Form 3 to 4 rallies while attacking AC just before the rallies hit the AC. So there are no reinforcements and your rallies can take out AC with one hit. Okay, so you destroyed AC1, what now? Second rally point will be unlocked. That could be placed near enemy AC2. Once you destroy AC2, another rally point will be unlocked and you destroy AC3 and then AC4. By destroying all four enemy ACs, the war ends, as you are victorious. When you destroy AC1 first, in most cases it means that you won the war, because other ACs aren't as heavily guarded, since you are forced by the game to go for AC1 first. Or, create a very long path towards AC2. If you know that you have no chance to get through enemy defenses, just destroy as many honor structures as you can. 
those bring a lot of points too. There is one more strategy that could be used, but it's quite risky. The strategy is to launch destroyer missile 20 kilometers from AC-1 instead of making a long path. The reason why is it so risky is that the person who is launching the missile loses shield and cannot use shield during launch time, which is 10 minutes. And during that time, he can be attacked by anyone from any state within DD group, even if it's Tuesday or Thursday. One way or another, the strongest players of your alliance have to keep their durability for two things. First, defending your honor buildings and alliance centers. Second, taking down enemy alliance centers. Their power really comes in handy when enemy alliance is defending with everything they've got and your maxed player slices through them like no one's business. As for the defense, I will be releasing strategies and basic tactics in next video very soon. So that would be it for today. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, subscribe and have a great time. Bye.